Uh, very good afternoon to you, and welcome back to the show. Thank you so much. So sorry, I had a little some technical difficulties getting to not, you today. Not to worry. So uh, tell us about the experience. So you've lost more weight. Congratulations. I have so total, I lost 127 pounds. Um, I did that in about 10 months. And have been on maintenance and maintaining that uh, since. So for the last, since January, I've been maintaining and uh, I weighed in today about 202 pounds. So I've, from my lowest, I was 197 and now I'm 202. So I'm still five pounds within my lowest, uh, my lowest weight, maintaining. Uh, That's just wonderful. What has majorly changed in your life? Uh, since the weight loss, uh, Rob? Yeah, my first of all, my relationship to my appetite, and really I am a new person. So uh-huh. it's uh, clearly not just physically, but mentally, spiritually, I have become a new person who walks in different, a different man's shoes. So I can't, um, under, I can't under, um, underestimate or you can't underestimate the difference and the change in your life from being one person to another. And um, so it's just, it's been a complete life change for me. Um, But truly my relationship to food has changed. My desire to need to, my headspace around how much time I spend thinking about food and eating, that's gone. And it has um, allowed me to spend more time, honestly, in concerning myself with other things and not where's my next meal going to be. Because um, number one, I've already made that decision. I've already decided how I'm going to eat um, because I'm on a I'm on Dr. V's plan, and so I'm already going to I've already made those decisions ahead of time. Um, so yeah, but at the same time, I'm just not governed by hunger and food. Yeah, and, let me. Um, yeah, Rob, let me please. explain something. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's a great point that you brought on with. Uh, not having to think about food all the time. One of the one of the issues, uh, you know, from a physiological uh, perspective, when when you're doing when your diet is right, when you are on a on a right protocol program for this many months, this uh, this amount of time, everything changes in your body. Your your body signals you to eat food because it's it's uh starving for the right foods to eat food so you're constantly looking for something but when your metabolism changes and becomes healthy uh metabolism solemn kebeshe you're not, you're not really looking for food anymore because your body is using everything that it's taking in for energy so those signals uh we look we think it's it's all in our head but it's all physio- physiology your body your biochemistry changes so you're not really looking and thinking about food constantly what am i going to eat what am i going to eat so that's that's a really key thing if you're yeah. doing a diet properly that's that's very important i think one thing that i would say to people that are listening that can relate to the same lifestyle i had is that when i would go out to eat I would think of, well, what's the best thing I can eat here for, you know, for the value because of this restaurant I'm at. And it would always be something more satiable or larger. And now when I go to restaurants, it's not that big of a deal to make a healthy choice. It's just I I have faith that I will be able to um, indulge in things um, here and there. But it's actually not the game that I'm out to win. The game that I'm out to win now is to – is to order smart, right? Yeah. And so I've really it's lost a lot of magical power over me. And so yeah. today as I sit here, I'm just inspired by the mental capacity and the mental game that is so different. It's not me trying to fake myself out. It's just being a little bit more honest and factual. Mm. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. And you have, you were off, you're off all your medications, right? Yeah, so to follow up, because um, I have, uh, spoken about this before. I was on um, both blood thinners and high blood pressure medicine that I am no longer on. Completely don't take any meds, nothing for heartburn. Um, yeah, life, life change. So, so proud of you, Rob. Well done. Well done. Thank you. I do care about Judy. Do you need to carbohydrate your shakar, as I shirin or 
بخار ب... تبدیل به چربی میشه در حالی که خود اون چربی رو ما لازم داریم بعد خود اینا که تبدیل به چربی ایمونه با اضافه وزن رو به وجود ببینید این یه چیزی خیلی مهمه چون همه فکر میکنن فت چربی میخوریم من چربی که میخورم چاق میشم چربی بر... چون داریم چ... بدن ما میخواد you're losing fat so you think you're eating fat uh, and you're getting fat ولی it's not the, it's not the, it's not uh, the, the, uh, what happens ببینید کارب کارب و شوگر این چیزا هورمون انسولین رو میارن بالا انسولین که میاد بالا بدن باید این این قند که توی توی سرکولیشن هست یه کاریش بکنه که یا بسوزونتش یا یه جای بفرستش که بدن صدمه نبینه چون این شکر قند توی خون جریان چیز میکنه سرکولیت میکنه هی دمیج میده به بدن به تمام بدنمون خلاصه این توی کبد ما این کارب یا شوگر که تب... کارب که تبدیل میشه به شوگر با با فت اینا رو رو هم رفته رو هم میذاره مثل بهش میگن تریگلیسرایت تریگلیسرایت میشه اینو میذارن استور میکنیم توی سلولای چربی بدن موقع که رفت اون تو دیگه بر نمیگرده برای همین میگم متابولیسم خیلی مهمه متابولیسم از وان وی یو ار اولویز گینینگ ویت هیچ وقت اگه سالم باشی یو ار نات لوزینگ ویت سو دت دت دی کی سو تو مچ شوگر تو مانی کاربز تو اینا اثر خیلی نگاتیو داره رو بدن بعد بدن ما میخواد اینو تیکر کنه دت دت وات ایت داز پوتس اون ات از فات پوتس اون از فات خوبیش اینه که آقای دکتر فریبرز وزیری دوستان علاقمند به رهایی از شر وزن اضافه رو مورد معاینه قرار میدن و هر کس با در نظر گرفتن شرایط سوخت و ساز بدنش مقدار اضافه وزنش و فرمی که هست مورد مداوا قرار میگیره تا به وزن ایدالش برسه همه عزیزان از این گروه حمایتی همکاران آقای دکتر فریبرز وزیری در هر دو مرکز ولی و گلندل استفاده میکنند هشت سد هشت در خدمت و اختیارتونه با تشکر از لطف حضورتون در برنامه امروز مرسی خیلی ممنون خیلی ممنون مرسی.